so today we or stop saying we me i'm taking yeah we right trooper we are taking a little fishing trip we got our bait we got beef jerky some beverages and in the front of the boat i have my fishing gear and of course i'm going to be taking the drone so we can get some footage of the lake while we cruise over the flooded lake so i'm gonna stop right here i'm heading to the gas station to pay an arm and a leg to pick this thing up and go we'll have some fun so I'm heading to the gas station and i still got the camera on let me go ahead and turn it around there's my buddies right there they are going fishing too and we're gonna go boating and have fun in the lake right cooper right trooper and uh, in about one minute I'll be in the gas station and I'm gonna pay an arm and a leg to get some gas. So somehow looks like there's a fuel crisis or something. Everybody's getting gas today. Must be the drop in the price of gas. Everybody wants to fill the tank now that it's cheap but still this is gonna take me like 10 minutes don't worry I'll cut it you won't see it on the video oh the truck was 40 something dollars because it had a still uh and uh, I'm filling up the boat and the boat so far is only three gallons but let's see how much it takes So I'm on my way to the lake right now and I was debating what should I tell you guys on this video because I've been debating what is going to come, what, what what is the channel going to become. Like you know those guys that do what I'm doing right now, that talk their butts off on a camera while they're driving and they get millions of views and I know I'm not going to get that <clears throat> over those little trips to the lake and drone footage of still house and the park and this and that but I figured that like somebody in this area or coming to this area might be interested in knowing what is what is there to do around Killeen, Fort Hood, um, Central Texas in general and soon uh, me and the family we're gonna take a little vacation to Colorado so there will be a video about Keystone, Colorado. But uh, long story short, I was debating like, what is there to say? And in reality, probably the issue is that I take for granted all the local information that I come across. Like for example, I always went to Stillhouse Marina and dropped the boat there. Well, the lake is flooded. And now the only ramp that is open is the one in Union Grove Park. So that's where I'm going right now and it will be the first time that I drop the boat there. I'm going to try to set up the drone before we get to the marina, set it on uh, active track so it follows the boat all the way to the dock, and, I mean to the ramp and hopefully record uh, the, dropping the, the process of dropping the boat in the water. And uh, hopefully it doesn't turn into one of those videos. Uh, wait until the end. Look what happens. And uh, my boat doesn't end up underwater or the truck underwater or something like that. But, uh, yep, that's pretty much it. That's what's going on. And I'm on, Bur on Stillhouse Lake Road headed to uh, Union Grove Park to drop the boat, record some footage and show you what the area is like. Uh, in the previous video, as I mentioned, this Stillhouse Marina is managed by the Army Corps of Engineers. So you get one of these bad boys. And I think this one cost me 45 or 45 or 55, almost a year ago. And you save yourself the entrance. 
The entrance is five dollars per vehicle. Like you get one of those, you go with which, whatever truck you have, whatever car you have, and you just show it and you get in and you don't have to pay. So that was a good investment. That was one of the few far in between good investments that I made. Uh, but um, yeah, just get yourself one of those if you are into the outdoors. Uh, the, the Dana Peak Park, which is on the shores of this lake, has camping areas. I uh, don't know what Union Grove Park has. Like I said, it's the first time ever that I go there. I always use the marina. The marina has a dock. You can go fishing from the dock. I think it's free. I don't remember. I think the only thing that they sell you is the bait and the fishing gear if you don't have it. Um, let me see if I can show you this scenic view. This is kind of crappy recording. Let me turn the camera around. We are crossing the Lampasas River. And that is technically Stillhouse Lake. And those are two cars coming. Very exciting. And those are my dogs in the back. I know you met them already. Trooper say hi early in the video. And uh, we're gonna continue our route and the next footage is the drone. So hopefully I can give you a good narrative of what's going on because the drone doesn't record audio. So here we are, footage from the drone. Um, we are flying above the truck and the boat and uh, we are approaching the boat ramp. This place was really well designed. Uh, the only complaint was the parking lot, but besides that, this place was amazing. Union Grove entrance to the Steelhouse Lake. Dropping the boat was really easy, and parking was a pain in the butt. You can see the dogs running up and down there, and they had fun. And then from there, we went ahead and did a few passes in the lake with the drone following the boat. Um, I was using a Mavic Pro and using the active track, active track feature. So during this time that you see in all this footage, I'm not flying the drone. The drone is flying itself. This next scene, you'll see it like how it follows the boat. Again, I'm not flying it. The drone is just following the boat. Now, the one thing that you can do is get out of the view of the drone itself because then the drone can't find you. So in the next few seconds, you'll see me take a really hard turn and then lose the drone. But overall, it worked really amazing. In fact, I had another, re another pass where the drone was following me for a good 10 minutes, but like I forgot to press record. So there was no footage. Getting back to the lake trip, it was amazing. Um, it was pretty relaxing. There was not too much people because the with the lake being flooded, most of the places where people hang out, the barbecue pits and the picnic tables and all that stuff were flooded as you can see. But I had an amazing time fishing from a barbecue pit. Um, didn't catch anything. That's the sad thing. Besides that, the place was amazing. Uh, there's no footage from loading the boat or getting out of that place, mainly because I dropped my phone in the grass and then I had to go back and look for it. But uh, I think this was enough. 11-minute uh, video. Hopefully you s stay with me until the end and you enjoy it. Uh, the area is beautiful. This is Union Grove Park in Stillhouse, Texas. So whenever you're here, stop by. Thanks.